Good evening, it's Gwen with Crafty Lady Designs. I am back with another uh, traveler's notebook that I've made by uh, taking the, the uh, teachables from Mrs. Cog. I've made two others and I'm calling this a series. And I now have four. <laughs> this would be the third one in the series. I have already posted uh, the first two. Uh, I've posted them on my Etsy shop. So I want to go through these individually. Uh, I'm going to do this one and then I have the, uh, the fourth one uh, and I'm going to post it on Etsy as well. Uh, I have enough supplies and materials to make several. Uh, this one, they're, they're virtually the same as the other two. Uh, it measures uh, eight and three quarters by eight and three quarters by five and a quarter. There are three inserts and one uh, file folder. Uh, I don't know what else the, uh, uh, of course it's, it's got two elastics, two elastics, and I'll show you how I thread it. Now I threaded, uh, I threaded the first two, I did not thread them correctly. I could not figure out how Mrs. Cog got nine inserts in one traveler's notebook, which is this size. Well, I, and I, I finally found where she gave a demo, a little tutorial on how she does it. Um, and I know how she does it, and I've done it. And for some reason, I just kind of thought, well, she did it different. So the upshot is, these are threaded, these last two, the new ones, are threaded correctly, and the first two that I made are threaded correctly as well. I went back and re-threaded them. Re-threaded them means how they're put in inside the notebook on the out and there again this is upholstery fabric i got this fabric i absolutely love it it's new i just got it at uh, hobby lobby it's kind of of course brown and tan and it's got some all kind of blue turquoise blue in it as well creamed uh, now the front of it has a mrs cogs b picture on it and it's zigzagged on some kind of turquoise blue just craft paper uh, on on some uh, fabric that I have uh, uh, frayed, uh, you know, that, that type of thing. And then down below, it's the same type of fabric. And then I have a gold key that I put on the front. So let's go into the nonsense and go through it. Uh, when you open it up, it has a pocket. And it also... I also, it has a pocket on the front and a pocket on the back. They're the same. This was a piece of real wide ribbon. It has a gold trim, but then it had some, I, I don't know what kind of fabric in between. Now, this is lace trim that I brought at Hobby Lobby back in the sewing department. So I just put it on top after I attached the pocket. Did some stenciling, whatever. This is, um, I, I, I don't know. I just don't, I have so many inserts now. I don't know whether this is Mrs. Cog's or whose, and I do apologize, but it's just some fresh flowers. It is zigzagged on the copy. It is not real zigzag. And this goes down in the pocket. And I think this is Tracy Fox's. Uh, it's just got the, uh, 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 oh, uh, oh, dragonflies, dragonflies, yeah. Now here is the first insert. Now, these inserts are bought in inserts. I didn't make these. I did make one set of inserts for one of the uh, first two books that I made, but these are bought in. Uh, this is also a Mrs. Cog's uh, download that I downloaded. It's zigzagged on that same piece of uh, kind of a, it's kind of a turquoise bluish green, and I left it longer at the bottom, and I put uh, Follow Your Dreams, stamped that on there, and then I also, with a different, uh, I, I also did some uh, oh God, help me. Oh, I did some, you know what, here. When you open this up, stenciling. I did some stenciling with a, with a different stencil. This has got the little uh, squares in it that you can draw with or do whatever you wish. And attached to that, these are attached together, these two. And they're on the, the uh, short elastic, I believe. This is a... Um, a file folder that I made. I made all the file folders. They're very simple to make. 
So I did make that. So these are attached together. Now the next two uh, inserts are together. Uh, this is just plain paper that you can draw or write or whatever. This has on the front of it uh, a policy envelope that I made. I gave a tutorial on making policy envelopes and the closures and how I do the closures. I do them where you don't have to deal with the legs and the, the tape and on and on and on. They're very simple. Uh, and the closures are called button and string closures on policy envelopes. Of course, you can certainly open it up as I've done here. And then I put a little thumb pull on it and you can put uh, memorabilia or receipts or, or whatever you want to put down in this, down in here. Um, you can close this any way you like, but the tra traditional way to cut, if you see them out in the stores, uh, I've made a ton of these for my books, is the figure eight. But there again, you can do it any way you want to. The last uh, insert is, is the same thing, and I have my little froggy stamp here on a bicycle, and it is just plain paper as well. So there are three uh, inserts with paper and one file folder. Now on the back there's a pocket as well, and it is made also made with that wide ribbon. It was real wide. And then uh, on top of it, I uh, put this lace uh, trim that I bought at uh, Hobby Lobby. Uh, this is all fabric here uh, that that uh, that I've covered the inside with, and I've also uh, stenciled on that as well. So it's all fabric. The whole book is fabric. It is the basis for the book is a heavy uh, heavy file folder. Uh, uh, one of the cream colored ones. I buy them uh, the heavy ones I can only find at Walmart in the store. Uh, and that's what Mrs. Cog, uh, Mrs. Cog suggested you use. And they are nice and heavy. And then when you fit, when you, you know, uh, get them covered front and back with fabric, they're real straight. Now they're a soft cover, but they're good and sturdy. This is a fabric uh, covered tag, and I think this is a this is or I think this is a Nick the Booksmith's little tag, and I put grommets in both of them, and then I secured it, secured them together uh, with some seam binding, and this is just a library card that I think was uh, Nick's as well that I just put in the back here, and then of course the back as I showed you is just just plain. I just love them, and they're fun to make. They're easy to make. They don't take a lot of time. This is the uh, third one, and I have one. I've made four in the last two or three days. Uh, I have a, enough material cut out and gone over here to make several more. So I'm, I'm kind of calling this a series, the uh, Traveler's Notebook series. There again, this was uh, from the Teachable of Mrs. Coggs. I will put that down below. Uh, I will put uh, my Etsy shop down below information and my caption on paper uh, dot com. If you're not a follower, I would really appreciate it. And I really, really appreciate some comments uh, and some uh, a thumbs up if you could do that for me. Uh, again, my name is Gwen Crafty Lady Designs. The name of my Etsy shop is Book Art Design. All one word. Uh, it's new. It's a new shop. So if you go over there and kind of follow me, I'd like that. And I have several books, uh, several junk journals on there, plus the other two Traveler's Notebooks. I'm going to be putting this one up probably tomorrow. And then the fourth one I'm going to show, I'm going to make a separate video on the fourth one. So that if anybody's in and when I post them on Etsy, I'll also uh, post the uh, how you can get back to this video that is, if you're interested in purchasing them, then you can go through and see them on the inside and see if that's what you're interested in. So I thank you very much and thank you for joining me today. And I will be back very shortly in the final, uh, well, not final, I don't think it's final, with the fourth Traveler's Notebook that I've made uh, in this series. Thank you so much and have a great weekend.